Breaking news tonight, cold case investigators releasing this new photo of a missing college student nearly 20 years after she vanished without a trace. They believe this is what Maura Murray would look like today. The mystery of what happened to the young Hanson woman is still haunting her family and still baffles authority. Five Investigates Mike Bodette has covered this case for years and years. He talked to her sister about what she thinks could crack this case. Rewinding 20 years. When the police arrived, she was gone in the middle of nowhere. This was Maura Murray's family in February 2004, three days after she disappeared in New Hampshire. We don't know if somebody picked her up. Um, she might be afraid that she's gonna get in trouble, but we just wanna let her know that it's fine. We just want her to come home. They sounded worried, but hopeful. Well, every time the phone rings, Every time someone comes to the door, I think it may be good news. Since then, these three family members have passed away. And 20 years later, the Maura Murray mystery is still not solved. With each passing year, we've come to the realization that it gets harder. Maura's other sister, Julie, can't believe it's been two decades. Never in a million years would I, would I ever imagine that 20 years later, I'd be sitting still talking about what happened to my sister. On February 9th, 2004, the 21-year-old Hanson native and UMass nursing student left campus, telling people there was a death in the family, but that wasn't true. She headed north, where she crashed her car in rural Haverhill, New Hampshire. A neighbor reported seeing the car in a ditch at 7.27 p.m. Soon after, Maura talked to Butch Atwood, a school bus driver who lived nearby. She said she was shaken up. I says, uh, okay, I'm gonna go call the police. A 911 dispatcher relayed Atwood's call at 7.43 p.m. Police arrived on scene three minutes later. The car was locked, Maura was gone. The ambiguity of this is unbearable at times, the not knowing. While some speculate Maura wanted to disappear, Julie Murray is convinced her sister was murdered. There's been hundreds of sightings, but none that have been deemed credible. And number two is nothing has ever been found. And those woods in that area has been searched hundreds of times. The Murray family's relationship with investigators has been strained over the years, with the family believing they weren't doing enough and investigators saying they were doing all they could. But that relationship is better now, and the family receives regular updates on the case. They confirmed that it's a suspicious missing person case. Um, we've, we've known that all along, but we've never got that confirmation. Did investigators make mistakes early on that have hurt this case? We always have to look at a case and see what are our opportunities to improve the case, to improve the evidence. Senior Assistant Attorney General Miles Madison is Chief of the Criminal Justice Bureau in New Hampshire. Everyone has a theory. What do you think happened to Maura Murray? I think we have to have an open mind uh, on this case in order to be able to explore it. In July 2022, New Hampshire authorities announced a ground search related to the case, but released few details. Was that search helpful? So I can't speak to more specifics about outcomes from that uh, from that search, but um, the investigation continues. How does someone vanish without a trace? We don't always know. On this 20th anniversary that will be marked with a vigil at the site of the crash, Julie Murray and her family remain hopeful. Do you think this case will be solved? 100%. Julie Murray believes they haven't reached the right person yet. Someone who knows something that will help solve this mystery. The family has produced a new podcast that's now out where they're telling Maura's story from their perspective. They're encouraging people who can't make Friday, Friday night's vigil at the crash site to light a candle at 7.30 p.m. to light up the sky for Maura. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.